the first thing you need to do is open up cell setup then click new and we are going to select the ER4U robot that's the one that we have in the back and click OK and then we go over here to new objects and you can either double click robots or click OK I'm just gonna double click it and then double click ER4U we don't want to put the slide base on the table uh, we do have one in the back we're, we're not gonna do it for the first exercise so we'll set this up and it just places it in the center right there next we're gonna go to general and we're gonna add a table so I'm double clicking and the table dimensions are a thousand by a thousand so we'll click OK and I'm gonna place this over here you can see that it's not good because it's not underneath the uh, robot so we're gonna click this button here drag object and drag it so it's the robot is right to the back edge if you get lucky when you place it you might place it there um, because you're awesome then double click materials and we're gonna add a cube the dimensions are 40 by 40 by 40 so we'll leave that and we're gonna place that now that's not gonna be where you want it to be um, now we'll click cancel to get out of this I click the slider so that I can pan down or, or I guess rotate down and then if you right click and move your mouse up you zoom in so I'm right clicking moving my mouse up to zoom in then I can use this button here to drag the frame so those are the um, items that you're going to use the most I want to change the position of this object here I can see that it's at 570.7 and negative something 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 so if you right click that or sorry if you double click it with your left click then you can change the position and the position for this should be 400 and 0 X in the 400 Y is 0 and that places it right here so that's uh, that's where we want this and then we are all done so then we have to go to file and we're gonna say I'll save this as and you're gonna need to save it into your drive so make sure that you do that you don't save it to the computer so save it into your drive maybe create a folder called RoboCell and um, you can identify this one as um, probably part one or pick and place or 3.1.1 I think whatever the title of the project is and then if you keep that nomenclature that'll make it easier for each project so once you've done that click save and then we'll show you how to load it into the project